Our master's program is a little unique in that the way we teach the courses kind of varies from the traditional method. We teach problem-based learning. You do not do something unless you know that there is evidence and proof that it works. Problem-based learning has ended up being one of the best parts of my experience here at Loma Linda. I, I think that it makes you a stronger professional. You know, when parents are going to come to you, when caregivers are going to come to you, you know that you'll be able to explain to them not just what you're doing, but why you're doing it. A typical day for us as a student would be waking up to attend clinic. After clinic, we typically have some time to do some work and attend classes at night. The professors here at Loma Linda are one of my biggest selling points. They have literally made all the difference for me here. They're very accessible to speak to about academic issues, also personal life issues. I feel like all of our professors are very um, caring and really want us to succeed. And then also just all of the, the rotations in the clinical experience that we get. There's phonology clinic, there's accent modification, there's fluency clinic, there's autism clinic. It's so important um, and it's something that I think you don't get as much in some other places. I think the concept of um, making man whole is a very unique aspect of Loma Linda because we're reminded constantly to not only treat the disorder, but to face our patients and look at them as a whole. And also the environment, working you know, with teachers that pray before classes and are on fire for Jesus, um, that's really inspired me and makes me want to be able to go and give back in the same way. We also have a program called a Transitional Master's Program. That program is for individuals that have an undergraduate degree in another area. We get people who are from psychology, um, linguistics, education. In the field of speech language pathology, less than 4% of the, the speech pathologists are male. And when you look at the minority uh, demographics, uh, about 8% or less are minorities. And so there's a great need for um, speech pathologists that are from multicultural backgrounds, also multilingual, to be able to service these different um, emerging populations. Final advice that I would give to somebody thinking about this profession would be look deep inside and ask yourself if you're the type of person who truly wants to help. If that is something that is deep down in your core, then this is definitely a profession that would make you happy.